There seems to be a belief now. A huge day here for Canada. They really will be going to the World Cup. Think of all it took to get here. Like, actually, let's dive into the timeline. March 25th, 2021. Canada versus Bermuda. Match one, round one. We're gonna get to that day, but let's actually take it back even further. Let's go 37 years into the past, when Canada qualified for their first ever World Cup, a time at which only two nations represented CONCACAF. That was Mexico, who was the host and earned automatic qualification, and Canada, who defeated Honduras in a must-win match, doing so by playing the home advantage card on a wet and rainy field in St. John's, Newfoundland. Different generation, similar tricks. This was all for the right to play a minimum of three matches in the world's largest sporting event, and they did that. Now, they didn't win any matches at the 86 World Cup, but the end result added up to something far more than their point tally in Group C. New fans, new clubs, new leagues, new levels of talent. Alfonso Davies signing as a homegrown player and now about to make his Major League Soccer debut. All right, so entering qualifying in March of 2021, Canada was ranked 73rd in the world. 51 spots below the US and 64 spots below Mexico. Well, after dispatching Bermuda, the Cayman Islands, Aruba, and finally Suriname with four victories in four matches to the total tune of 27 goals to one, that ranking went up. Next came a June double leg tie versus Haiti in the second round of qualifying. A tough out, made a little bit easier by perhaps the biggest goalkeeping blunder in history. But make no mistake, Canada, they were continuing to shift up a gear. Not a bad way to enter the Ocho. Yes, the third round of qualifying. Eight teams enter, in the top three, they gain direct entry into the 2022 World Cup. A KG draw with Honduras had fans a little nervy on match day one, but a well-earned point on American soil and a clinical dismantling of El Salvador at BMO Field, that had Canada sitting comfortable heading into their greatest challenge yet. Two words to keep any Canadian soccer fan up at night. United away. Oi, oi. Actually, Mexico away. Well, after a 40-year goal drought at the Azteca, Jonathan Osorio put Canada on the board and they continued their march towards the top of the CONCACAF standings. That actually might have been more of a sprint than a march in the case of Panama. As for Mexico, well, they were no longer safe at the Azteca or the Ice Teca in Edmonton, as Canada defeated El Tri to end 2021 at the top of the CONCACAF standings. That brought them up to 40th place in the world rankings, earning them FIFA's annual title, of most improved side. The 86 World Cup team undoubtedly helped forge this path, but this is a different Canada. Team Canada in 2022 continued to show that to Honduras, to El Salvador, to their biggest rival who currently stares up at them in the CONCACAF table. All of which helped Canada grab a seat at a new table. With this win over Jamaica comes the confirmation that Team Canada is back on the world stage once again, proudly representing our nation as one of 32 teams at World Cup 2022. So again, think of all it took to get here, to celebrate this moment. What's next? Who knows? But realize, it's just getting started.